Hey guys, welcome back. This is the lecture number 89 from our bootcamp series. In this lecture, we will discuss about rec tasks in RHEL or in fact, you can say that we will try to understand that what are rec tasks and how we can use them. So rec tasks are known as the task runner in Rails. It is used to run the predefined or custom tasks. Okay. For example, when you run Rails DB migrate, it means you are running a Rails task which will execute all pending migration in your system. As other example, you can consider that if you are running Rails DB rollback, it means you are running a Rails task which will roll back the latest migration in your application. Now it's time to understand that what is a task in Rails. So a task can be anything that can be used to perform some specific operation as we discussed just about the running migration as a task rollback to migration is a task or set up a database is also a task these are just some example of predefined tasks but you can write your custom tasks as well and use rec for running them when needed as per your choice okay for example at certain point in your application you want to send emails to specific users then you can just filter those specific users by some active record query and then you can write a rake task for implementing the logic for sending email and just to send the email you can run that rake task okay as another real world example you can consider that when you started your application or when you just start developing your application then suppose you have a model and initially you don't know that how much this model will grow so you have this model with very less attributes okay but over the time this model is growing with more attributes okay so if you want to provide values for the existing model instances okay which have the less attribute which were created when you have less attributes okay then you want to update later over the time in bulk okay then you can write rec tasks for updating those existing entries okay these are just couple of examples but there can be many more depending upon the use cases and requirements of your application and some other examples are like uh, exporting the csv downloading csv and importing bulk records and all that okay also rec task can be known as as a scheduler to be invoked at some specific time interval okay like scheduler it means that uh, for example the heroku use the schedulers jobs okay and with scheduler you can set some time interval and then at time interval you can execute some jobs okay so you can use rec task for that okay now one more thing to know about that rec tasks up to rails 4.x are known as rec tasks okay for example if you have to uh, run rails db uh, if you have to run all the migration in your application then you have to run rake db migrate not rails db migrate okay just like this or if you want to roll back a migration then you have to run rake db rollback not rails db rollback okay but since rails 5 rails has changed this convention of calling rake as rails okay now if you want to execute rake task then what you need to do rails db migrate for example if you want to roll back a migration then rails db migrate if you want to display all the routes in your application then what you need to run rails routes okay but before rails 5 we were using rec db migrate rec routes okay however if you want to execute the tasks according to older versions in rails 5 or newer versions you can do it like bundle exec rails db migrate okay let me show you how we can do that Okay. So here you can see that I am at the terminal of uh, our course project and now if I run the task with uh, rake db migrate I will see this error argument error trying to register bundle jam file or status for bundler jam file is already registered okay or so you can see that there is some mistake yes, there is some problem with rake db migrate okay but if I run rails db migrate you can see that we do not have any pending migration so this command executed successfully now i can still use rake db migrate with bundle execute command that is bundle exec rake db migrate 
now if i run the task you can see that still it does not uh, still it works and we did not get any error okay why this not does not provide any output because all the migration has been run already okay so it is not displaying any output but with bundle execute this older word syntax of rake db migrate or rake task is working okay and same is true for your custom rake task as well okay so that's all about this lecture we just discussed the rake task theoretically and with some real world example where we can use this rake tasks okay now in the next lecture we will see how to implement custom rake tasks in rails and that will give you a better idea about writing rake tasks okay so thanks for watching this lecture and let's meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe